Hello and welcome back to the Build with Bear workshop. Uh, it has been a week since I was live with you. I was away um, doing my thing at PAX East, and so I didn't do a live stream, and I disliked that. Uh, the Wi-Fi was so bad at the uh, Airbnb I stayed at, I'm glad I didn't even try to stream, because I couldn't even watch YouTube videos. It was, it was very rough. Uh, I'm so, yeah, no, I mean, I know, comparatively. Rough for a lot of people. Hey, I'm waiting for a few more people to join us in chat because I would love to have a few more people watching as we start going back to this tall geese. Um, so why don't I throw the bear cave emote here, um, the cave, and we'll throw the Lego as well. If you're a subscriber, throw that emote back at me. Let me know what's up. Although, hmm. There we go. Yeah, that didn't work. So the bear cave emote in there, and it didn't work. There we go. There's the bear cave emote thrown into chat. As you can see, I am using a green screen. Um, yes, you may have noticed the green screen. Um, I've been playing with it a bunch, trying to get lighting right. I have two lights here in the room, as well as the overhead light that's above the table. That's helping a lot. I'm still a little bit yeah, iffy. Um, you may notice that uh, occasionally, that if I wear my headset exactly how I would like to wear it, um, sometimes the metal here is so thin that it gets, uh, it, it starts to be, got to be, try to be transparent. So if I do that, it works. And then like directly behind this arm is a weird spot. I don't know, I don't know why. It's just not lit properly. Anyway, I'm hoping a few more people uh, join us here in the chat so that we can start exploring stuff and start doing stuff and start building. Um, but yeah, I hope you're well. Um, I hope you're having a good evening. I uh, got to bump back into it, right? Take some time off, got to jump back into it. Uh, get back into the building uh, where we belong. Uh, also, I'll mention it several times, but I'm doing a special stream tomorrow, Friday night, at 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm back in it with the game stream. Normally, I do that on like a Monday afternoon, but, well, Hearthstone expansion happened today, and I've got a bunch of packs uh, to open, so I thought I'd do that on stream. That would be fun, and so I'm going to do a Friday night stream, just because I want to get back into it. Um, so, yeah, if you're there in the chat, uh, you can throw the, the emote in there at any point, throw the bear cave emote, throw the Lego emote. Let me know you're out there, because um, I like having a chat, as you know. I like seeing who's in the chat. And uh, saying hi. So I'm going to talk about some anime. I'm going to talk about PAX East. We got we got some stuff to talk about. Um, hope you're well. And uh, if you're new, because there be, might be a few new people popping in. I'm not sure if uh, and anybody new is going to pop into the chat. Because uh, um, I got a few new followers during PAX. I mentioned it in a couple panels that I was having uh, that I'm doing this stream stuff and some people jumped in but anyway uh let's get into it it's been long enough i'm pretty happy with this shot this overhead shot of me above me green screened in i've got the uh the photo on either side i might want to make those bigger but right now i think they look pretty good and uh yeah then my build space are in front of me so what have we done we've done most of the body we have done the head. Uh, put that up there. Most of the body. We've done the head. We have done uh, some of the arms and other parts of the arms. And then these are the shoulder pieces. And now we're going to put some stuff into our shoulders. The, which is, oh, there's a better way to say that. We're going to put armor on our shoulder pieces. Um, and we need some pieces. Uh, let me tell you. After not building for a whole week, I have been looking forward to tonight. Um, it has been a while since I built anything. Uh, so I, uh, yeah, very much looking forward to getting in here and getting this done. Now, there only seems to be one PC6. And that seems wrong. Oh, no, they're both six. They're the same. Um, yeah. I am glad to be home here in New York. Uh, Boston was lovely. It was cold, but not too cold. It was a little rainy, but not didn't really slow anybody down. 
It was, uh, the people were awesome. A lot of people came and said hello, including some people that are uh, often here and there. I met Mr. Bob, Mr. Bob 9000. That was really nice. I met a few folks that watch the stream regularly. Um, so that was very cool. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to, uh, get back to building the thing that I really like doing. Um, I'll have some links that I'll put in the uh, the time when we take a break here. I'll put in some description of uh, of some of the stuff that I was working on. I have video of 404 ing it and video of Improvised Postmortem. They both did really well. Um, some of you all probably seen. I mean, I don't know where the views came from, but Improvised Postmortem already is like the seventh best viewed, uh, the seventh most views I've had on a video. And it just went live like over the weekend. So that's doing pretty well. And uh, 4 4 is doing good, you know. That one's tough because it is streamed. And so some people rip the stream. And I don't always have it up first. All right. And we'll put this like this. Just working on our shoulders, getting some gold in there on our kit. Yeah, PAX was great. Um, we've mentioned, I mentioned it a bunch, uh, that League of Heels for the first time ever, the uh, video game wrestling show that I helped produce. Um, for our first time ever, we were uh, in band land, which means that we had a merch table. We weren't on the show floor. We were in the special area for uh, the musical acts that perform, as well as guests like uh, 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 Bill, I forget his last name, that makes zits and... Um, Chris Straub and uh, Loading Ready Run and just, yeah, the kind of like friends of the uh, site, friends of the festival is a good way to say. Um, and Leah, yeah, League of Heels got space there, which is really awesome. Uh, very nice of Penny Arcade to uh, and uh, PAX in general to make that offer to us. And we did really well. We sold a lot of shirts. I was very, I was very proud of us for doing so well. Our first, because we've done merch. What oh, we got going on here? Uh, oh, Ronald gave me a cheer. Thank you for that. Or Roland, I'm sorry. Ronald, yes, Ronald. I said it right the first time. Ronald, thank you for the cheer. Appreciate that very much. Um, thank you for being here. Uh, yeah, we did. We did a whole merch thing. That we've done merch before. You know strangers in the night just going to like be like hey we got a duffel bag and you're in line for our panel buy some shirts or buy a poster we got a portable merch table we're using but uh it's a different story to be like work the work the actual convention i've uh i have not worked a convention in quite some time i volunteered at a few but i haven't actually worked a table in in a while so that was interesting okay so we get the okay, okay, okay. But yeah, I'm glad to be back uh, in New York, back to do this. My voice is still struggling a little bit, so I'm, I might give out on me a little bit here and there. I'm trying not to push it too much. Uh, I turned the volume up on my mic, uh, as basically as much as I could without it peaking, so that I didn't have to talk as loud as I my natural inclination is. And my hope is by doing that, I will keep myself from uh, blowing out my voice. Because like I said, I'm doing a special stream tomorrow at 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Um, I'm going to be uh, opening some packs in Hearthstone and figuring out maybe some decks I want to try to build based on what I open. And then I will uh, see once the chat kind of fills up, We'll do some Jackbox games tomorrow. That's the plan, anyway. Uh, I want to say, if you're following, if you're new here, if you're just jumping in, uh, chat is pretty dead today. Not seeing any chat at all, which is okay. Um, if you're a subscriber, you can throw the Bear Cave or the Bear uh, Lego emote out there. A Lego emote only used right now by myself and Iron Souls. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be back. It was a, it was a really solid trip. Um, good time in Boston. 
Lots of, uh, got to see. I think there were a couple people that were working that I didn't get to see because I was working the whole time as well. Um, so that was a shame. But I think I saw just about everybody that I wanted to that was there. Plenty of people that I missed that I wish had been able to be there. But this one didn't look like a PAX they could go to. Which is a shame. Alright, so we did that on one side. We're going to do it on the other. We're going on our shoulders here. Uh, Bandland was super good for meeting friends of the league. Yes, Mr. Bob. Um... So I think that what the nice thing was that having a, a set location meant that people came to us. Now, some of those people were friends of ours that were like, can I leave my jacket here for a minute? And it's like, yeah, sure, that's fine. But some people came by that were like, they wanted stuff, they wanted to see people, and that was really nice. Uh, it was good to meet you, Mr. Bob. Um, but yeah, it, it, was, uh, it was nice to have like some people come by and, uh, and see us. And I was hoping that other people that I didn't get a chance to see would also do that. But unfortunately, they did not pop by, including uh, some uh, folks that I wanted to sign. So so we put up our display. Hello, Last Brook. Welcome. We put up uh, our, our display poster so that people, you know, eye catching display poster. Um, sorry, my emote for this month I've been using is a crate. Oh, it's a crate. That's a good that's a good looking crate. No problem, Ronald. Um. No problem at all. Uh, I was going to say, oh, yeah. So we had a poster that we had uh, anybody who's wrestled in League of Heroes before could sign. Not just people that were wrestling in that show. And I thought that would be nice, like, one, a cool thing. And we're going to wrestle. We're going to wrestle. We're going to auction that off for charity in the very near future. I believe we're going to try to bring it. Um, Aaron Trice has it right now. So I believe we're going to try to bring it to PAX West. Um, and get that signed there by even more people that have performed because some people can't do uh, PAX East and PAX West, but we'll be there. But yeah, I want people like Rami didn't get a chance to sign it. Um, I want to have uh, our former champion, Samantha Coleman needs to sign it for sure. Uh, there's a few people that like just, yeah, weren't at PAX East or didn't come up to see us. So the hope is PAX West will be able to catch them. Yes, that's Matt Pasquale's crate. It's a good crate. Uh, yeah, subscribers here, you know, feel free to use the Bear Cave emote. If you're not a subscriber and you're watching and you like what you see and you want to support me in my continued effort to do this, uh, I do have, um, you know, I am a affiliate, so you can subscribe if that's something you're interested in doing. There's obviously no pressure in, involved in that, but I do, you know, it's nice to see that subscription number go up. If you have Amazon Prime and you haven't yet got Twitch Prime, well, first, you should get Twitch Prime because it's a very good deal. So get Twitch Prime um, because that way you don't see ads on Twitch and you can turn your ad blocker off. You don't have to worry about that. And then the other thing is that it supports streamers like me. Um, it is very nice to have people support the channel via, um, via subscription either uh, with their own money or through uh, Twitch Prime. But of course, it's uh, totally fine if you just watch. You know, maybe you want to like retweet it when you see the tweet about me going live, something like that. Uh, you certainly don't have to, but it is very helpful to me as I build the build this up. I'd love to get even more new people coming to check it out. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm doing my game night tomorrow is because I've heard from a few people that they would love to get involved in the uh, Jackbox stuff, but I uh, can't do the afternoon. So me doing it Friday night is a way to try to get them involved. Hopefully they'll be able to. All right. Uh, I got to do this thing here. C1, 2, two, two, two. Um, So Pope and I are talking about uh, Aaron is not going to be able to make it to... Um, to PAX West, uh, he is opening a business this summer and won't be able to take the time off. Um, I'll let him do the full announcements of what that, uh, what his new in endeavor is going to be. But, you know, storyline, he's in jail. Uh, reality, he's a busy person. So Pope and I are going to be pretty much producing League of Heels for the first time 
Uh, we'll do a League of Hills show completely produced without Aaron. Certainly Aaron's input, but he won't be there. Uh, and that's weird. We've done the show without Pope before. Uh, and that's always, I don't, I like it. Yes, he, uh, uh, Aaron is in Pax Jail. Uh, yeah, Aaron's in Pax Jail at Pax East. So he can't make it to Pax West. Uh, that is the storyline. Uh, and yeah, so Aaron, unfortunately, is unavailable. I just dropped a piece at some point, and I'm going to try to find it without rolling over it. Because as you can see, it's a pretty thin piece of metal here, or plastic. It's pretty thin plastic. So the goal is to find it, pick it up, and not wheel it over it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to stand up. I don't like that. Uh, well, it's back to me streaming. I'm already I cannot find this piece. Do not know where it went. Okay, well we're gonna keep going. When I start tearing down gear, I will find it and I will um, I will finish that step. But I would prefer to just move on. Yeah, so, so the idea is that uh, Aaron will just take um, will just take some time off, which he deserves, and uh, Pope and I will run the show. I'm very excited about that. I've got some ideas of things that we could do, and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, it'll be a good show. We're not going to do the Rumble. Um... It'd be nice to bring the rumble back to east, so we're just going to do uh, at west. We're just going to do a uh, a good show. You know, we'll try that for once. Now. Um, but yeah, we're just going to do a different show that is not uh, the rumble because the rumble is a lot, and Aaron does indeed have the N sixty four, so it's a lot easier if we run some games off a laptop or a PS four or something. So okay. All right, so I have to find the little piece that I dropped here that goes on the other side of that, but I think I can work around it. I'm not really worried about it. And isn't that it's identical? Go there. Hello, Matt. Matt Mitchell, hello and welcome. Uh, this is the Build of a Bear workshop, working on a uh, tall geese. Um, not enough Gundam at PAX. Did, yes. Um, yeah, the Bankai Nam Namco, you'd think they would have it like some sort of presence in the games like I understand it's a gaming convention so you're not going to find gunpla there but it would have you're totally right that it would have been cool if they had had uh some of the Gundam games as they are popular and liked uh I don't disagree with you at all Mr. Bob that it would have been cool to uh to have some of that all right so let's see this goes like this it goes in like that Okay, try to attach this right the first time. We'll see if I do that. And if I don't, I'll repair it. I'll fix it. I'll make it work. All right. And then we'll... We're going to build some art. We're building our arms together. We will uh, attach those to hands in a moment. Um... Uh, they didn't even have Dragon Ball Fighters at South, which is like weeks before release. Yeah, that one was a surprise. You think they would have had a bunch of kiosks and like, you know, not money matches, but something. Yeah, that that uh, that I heard that. I thought that was pretty surprising. I think Namco Bandai might not know what their audience is into. Uh so, uh, Matt Mitchell, I did not play any video games. At PAX, which is a bummer. I usually like to go to the Indie Mega Booth and look around. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, Death and Res. Death and Res is now following. Thank you for the follow. Um, so, yeah, Matt, I didn't play any games because we were working the uh, the booth. Um, and that was kind of my priority was uh, doing that stuff, uh, was selling merchandise, which, you know, I was there for. Uh so yeah, I, the only game I played, liter legitimately, the only video game I played was Hearthstone, like one night for a little bit, and I played um, uh, No Mercy on Sunday as part of our panel. 
Um, I usually like to play more games. Fortunately, that was not in the cards. All right, let's build some hands. You played at least one. Yes, last book. Literally, I played uh, that a couple minutes of a uh, very old wrestling video game, which is not ideal when you want to, uh, you know, uh, when, you, when you want to go and see some video games. I just unfortunately didn't get a chance to. I focused on, yeah, I really did just focus on wanting to be uh, at the booth at all times and then except for like eating and like my panels because I obviously I had other panels, I had two other panels. Um, I am currently debating what the future holds for the panels that I do. Um, not to be dramatic at all, but uh, um, especially with me kind of taking a lot of the responsibility for League of Heels, the next show. I don't know if I can really do 404 in it the way it should be. This show, this particular one, while I think in general was entertaining, it ended up being very short because the videos I got from my guests, I didn't get till very late. So I could have done a whole other segment. I could have done two other segments. Or if they'd sent me to earlier, all three of them, I could have been like, hey, I need more from you. I need more videos. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to do that. Um, I'm not blaming them. I'm not mad at them. I'm just, it's a lot, uh, that, that particular, um, panel is a lot of work. And while I really enjoy doing it, sometimes it's like, I need a break. Um, cause it's just like, I don't know. I like it a lot. I think I I think Abby's videos were fantastic. I think that like I just it just that everybody sent stuff really late, and that show requires um a unbelievable amount of um pre production, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. So four or four, it might take a break at Pax West while I produce another show. Um, I have, uh, I have ideas of what I might do, but I've legitimately been thinking about trying to do something build with bear related because I love doing this. I love building and it would be nice to be able to share that with a PAX audience. And I think PAX West might be the right audience for that. Um, because actually, and this is legitimate, uh, um, I, uh, don't have the opportunity like i just tell say this because it's like you know i'm grateful for everyone that comes and grateful everyone sees less people come see 404 at a pax west than they do at pax east that is over time i it has been very clear that that is that is the truth so if that's true maybe they'd like to see something else uh improvised postmortem did Numbers, it was way better at PAX West, our first show, than PAX East, which I think PAX East was a solid show and I had a really good time doing it. It's just less people came to see it. It was probably because it was a Thursday at 9. Uh, I, I imagine that was a big reason why we did not have the numbers that I was necessarily looking for. And 404 it did incredibly well. We turned people away, which I'm bummed. I'm both excited about and also bummed about because it meant that some people that I know didn't get to see it. Which is a bummer. <laughs> Build their massive library statues. That's kind of a funny idea, like building a, uh, doing part of the uh, PAX uh, um, creation live. Although, logistically, I already know that's never going to happen because all those things have to be done by um, unions. They're all like, all that stuff is like, Union crews got to put together all that nonsense most of the time. Sometimes not, but most of the time. Um, but that is a funny idea. Uh, uh, the live and also the thing the the main one of the ma my main issues with four four ing it is uh, that the videos are uh, the video four four ing it is always going to be better on YouTube because. 
ENC 3000, Eric and Chelsea, are going to do a better job than Twitch does. One year, I had someone who knew what my panel was and was excited to work on it, and she had figured out picture in picture, and it that video came out great. And I'm not asking people to do the, the extra homework. I understand that a lot of times they're not Twitch employees. They're contracted uh, people. Uh, they get the same people uh, to do a lot of it, and they do a great job. But the Twitch people are not – they don't know what my show is. They don't know how to do my show well. Improvised postmortem, you just do a quick shot of the PowerPoint, and mostly you go on the actors, and it's not hard. And we say with the names of the ga- – I say the name of the games out loud, so you don't even need it. Uh – so, uh, Death and Res, uh, um, if I was going to do Build with Bear Live, so so the idea is that I, I actually probably wouldn't build anything myself. I would most likely just be hosting a show, and I would invite my friends on, uh, friends and, and, and builders, people that like the, like the stuff that I like, would want to do that on a stream, and I would uh, have them build probably a Lego kit, probably like a hundred to 120 piece Lego kit, something short, easy to build. Um, and then I would have them build a kit and then I would have like blind bags full of random Legos and then they would have to do that. So I'd make it like, uh, that would be like the creative where like the first half is just uh, putting together whatever. The second half is like the creative endeavor of it, of like customizing your kit. Um and I think adding a, a healthy competition where there's no necessarily winner, but it, there is like some stakes of like being doing a great job uh, would be kind of cool because it would just, yeah, it would invite a lot of interesting people to do it. Um, and I think the audience would be into it. And like, I already kind of know how I would film it. It wouldn't be too, too hard to do with a couple uh, extenders for USB extenders for webcams and a pole. Like, I think I could pull it off pretty well. And I think it would be pretty cool. And then I would just host it and kind of like live switch camera angles and stuff. Um, and I, I think there's I think there's something to that show. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, like the theme for the build, something like that. Um, I don't know. Uh, all right, so we did this. We're going to put our head on right now. We did our arms. And let's put our head on. Great. Head is on. This kit is already coming together like gangbusters. Look at that kit. It's already looking great. We'll go close up here. Oh, that's actually, that's kind of cool. You can see the two, what, what, how side lit I am right here. Um, but yeah, so that's where we are right now with our tall geese. But yeah, Matt, I, uh, a uh, some sort of theme to the build would kind of cool like uh the extra pieces or whatever could be around a, the pieces they don't know what they're going to be could be around a particular theme that that could be cool all right so i need c i was grabbing h for no reason i need c um s steal the premise of nailed it everyone has to build the same lego kit that you already have already done but with no instructions uh so that that could be really fun, but I, it's a thing where like the, um, the guy, the Pat Bear inside of the producer Pat Bear, the human Pat Bear is like, I wouldn't want to do that show. I wouldn't be like, here, build this. We're not giving you any instructions. I wouldn't want to be that. I wouldn't want to do, I don't ever want to be on a panel that I don't want to do. And I don't ever want to host a panel that I wouldn't want to do. Um, I, I, so I would definitely want instructions. I would want them to be able to follow along and then I would just be there to kind of keep momentum going to, to keep the jokes going and all that. Harold, thank you very much for hosting. Um, saw Harold at PAX and that was very nice. Of course, Harold came by. Always welcome at the League of Heels booth to pop in to say hello. Yeah, I mean, like, that's generally my policy. Like, sometimes you, you know, uh, PAX hasn't happened as much, but I do get invited to do panels at uh, other conventions. And in general, I ask what it what it is and try to find out if it will make sense for me to be on there. And my two main rules are if it's a fun, silly panel, is, is this going to be fun to do because that's taking up my time? Okay, it is going to be fun to do. Great, I'll do it. And the second thing I ask is, um, 
and this is only, 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 only in the case of um, if it's a, uh, a panel where uh, it would make sense for someone other than me to have their voice heard. And that's especially panels on like uh, f that marginalized folks might be more interested in than just like people that don't really think about that stuff. Um, I think I have, you know, uh, I mean, I talk a lot. I have a lot to say, but I also know that there are plenty of people who, whose voices need to be heard. So if we can uplift a few voices, I'm always interested in that. Um, but yeah, in general, when I, when I plan out a panel, like I love the idea of for affording it and like doing the research and finding a segment and doing all that. But I also understand that some people do not enjoy that part. They want to be on the show, but they do not want to uh, find the videos and it's nerve wracking for them. And so I'm, you know, nice thing about improvised postmortem is as long as you're comfortable telling jokes and doing a little improv, um, that prep work is very low on my end and it requires no prep work of any of the performers other than showing up. Side, this aside, uh, Harold. Yes, thank you. Uh, it was great to see you as well. Uh, please assemble me a Lego that was the theme of microtransactions. Yeah, I mean that. There's something fun about like, I think the blind bags. Um, some people said they should be different pieces. Some said they be all the same pieces. Um, but would probably be is I'll probably just look for like random bags and like put something together and yeah I would try to balance it out I don't know I'm still brainstorming it I might do 404 in, in at PAX West I might still just do it oops I gotta separate this I didn't put the piece in but um I have been unable to find my uh um uh my separator here that I had I've been looking for it cannot find it I'm gonna order a new one uh, speaking of new gear, I have one new piece of gear, uh, besides using the green screen stuff. Um, the, uh, maybe I can angle this down. The stand, um, right here. The stand that is, is facing me, that's right here. I got a new stand for that, uh, webcam. That webcam that is, uh, that I, oops, that I face. Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, whatever. What? Where am I? There I am. Uh, the, yeah, the webcam that faces me is... Um, uh, I had another stand. It was kind of falling apart, so I picked up a new one. And the nice thing is that it has an attachment for my iPhone. So I could use that at some point if that was something I wanted to do. Let's be put me there. And then let's put this there. We did it. We fixed it. It's probably okay. There. Perfect. We nailed it. But yeah, I um, I have to. I picked so I picked that up. Um, my Amazon wish list. I put a few new things in the Amazon wish list. Of course, I'll I'll mention that in a little bit. Uh, no pressure there. Uh, I got a few pieces of tech um, that I would like to, to pick up to make uh, this show work a little better. Um, the the main thing is, um, uh, that I have to figure out is. I'm going to try to do dual monitoring in the future. Um, that would help with this because I would be able to um, have OBS on one screen and have chat and everything else on the other and be able to get on and go to my web stuff instead of what I have now, which is everything kind of like in a small window. Um, it would be great to have some of that full screen. Um, so I found a... Uh, the, the monitor I have right now is 23 inches. I think two 23 inches is more than enough uh, for what I need. So I'm looking at that. It'll also be great for uh, video game stuff because my games tomorrow, I'm going to have my laptop open with chat and, uh, and a window so I can play uh, Jackbox games tomorrow night. And then my other, my main screen is going to just have the game running. Um, uh, Matt says last night was, was meetups for maximum fun drive. I do. I like a lot of the max fun shows, tights and fights. I listen to, uh, a bunch of different, I mean, so many, so many Max Fun shows. Uh, uh, the Flop House I like a lot. Of course, the McElroy Brothers and Adventure Zone stuff, and Sawbones and Wonderful. Um, bunch of stuff. Hello, board. Welcome, welcome to it. How are you? Um, 
Welcome to chat. All right, so we got our leg stuff solved. We need a few other pieces here. Let's see, C15, C15. We'll pull that out. Um, kind of get this together here. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just looking at now of like ways to kind of make the, the channel run better and my streams run smoother. And I think uh, um, it will be very fun to have a, uh, uh, a second monitor. I think that would be a cool addition. And then there's a couple other pieces that are in there. And of course, I'm going to link to that in just a minute. Let's finish our feet and then I will um, take a moment to plug a bunch of things while I have a few of you here watching. Uh, we are working on our tall geese, as you can see. My green screen is up and running. Um, for those that are new to watching that me, knew me and just never heard that I did this, I've been doing this since about July, I believe. I've been an affiliate for a few months less than that. Um, I have really much, very much enjoy doing this. I'd like to continue to do it. Um, if you have thought about becoming a subscriber and you aren't one, if you have uh, Twitch Prime, you could use your Twitch coin. Uh, link uh, Amazon Prime with Twitch and get yourself a free coin that you could give to me or you could spend the money and of course there are other ways um, to do that there are other ways to support um, the channel and my streams but uh, overall uh, if you can just hang out I'm always appreciate it to Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Saturday at 9 p.m. I'm gonna do a game stream tomorrow as a bonus oh and one thing um, so, I've been thinking that maybe I should start later in the evening. Um, that's the thing that I've been kind of um, uh, postulating at the moment is the idea of B1 and B26. Uh, is the idea of maybe starting later in the night on a Saturday and then eventually, not right now, starting later on a Thursday. I'd certainly like to... Oh, we got here. Oh, thank you so much for subscribing, Matt. Uh, Matt Mitchell with the subscription. Thank you very much for that. Very much appreciate it. Um, oh, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I've been thinking about starting later in the evening. Um, f right now on Thursdays, I can't do that uh, because I have another event to go to every Thursday late in the evening. I produce a show they have to run to. But I'm going to stop running that show uh, at some point in the new fe in near future. I will be announcing my retirement from that show pretty soon. And then once I'm done with that, I've been thinking about, you know, doing the stream later. I think that would be make a lot of sense. So, I don't know. But let me know, especially those that watch on Saturdays, if you think Saturday at 9 p.m. is still too early, if you'd like to see it later, or if later will be bad for you. All I know is that on Thursdays, Thursdays is pretty, I can say this, uh, I get a good little bump right at the end, right at like 9 o'clock, a bunch of people pop in, which is awesome. Thank you so much. But, you know, that's towards the tail end of my stream. So it would be cool if they could watch the whole thing. So I'm thinking about it. Nothing's set in stone. Nothing's uh, decided. But it would be pretty cool to do an evening stream uh, to do later on Thursdays and then maybe later on Saturday. At the very least, parody where I'm like 9 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. on Thursdays and Saturdays. Something like that. I don't know. Haven't figured that part out yet. Um, would like to, but, you know, right now, right now I am focusing on just being consistent. Obviously, I went away. Uh, I don't have a travel date right now until July. July is the next time I think I will miss a Thursday or Saturday at the moment. I might miss one for for work-related reasons. Oh, no, well, that's, that's not fair. Um, yeah, I'll... I might miss one in the end of June around my birthday or around a festival that I help run here in New York, but I got nothing in May and then June I'm doing stuff here in New York. So I'm feeling pretty good about being able to, uh, just be able to be consistent. Uh, Ronald says, depends on who you are getting and where they live. Usually asleep right around nine any day. Well, there you go, Ronald. Uh, I mean, that's also like, well, East Coast, that might be tough for some people if I start later in the night. But West Coast, I know that starting at 5 p.m. is rough for people, like on a Thursday. Thursday at 5 is a rough time. Anyway, I'm going to take a moment to uh, plug some of my stuff, and then we'll get back into uh, building. Uh, this is the part of the show where I put in some links. 
So, as mentioned, I've got uh, subscribe if you can. That would be awesome. Really appreciate it. Uh, also, uh, there is another way to support me. Is my Patreon. Patreon, I'm at a, a little under $100 trying to get to $150. There's rewards for that. You get videos early. It's pretty cool. Uh, I mentioned earlier I've got an Amazon wish list. Top of the wish list is some stuff that I really think would be cool to build. Um, like I would love to do more. I only did Krillin. I'd love to do more of those Dragon Ball Z kits. I might just end up buying one myself with the money that I got from uh, coffee or Ko-Fi or coffee. Uh, I've got a coffee and then uh, that is uh, a way to support like one time like, hey, here's five bucks. Thank you. Uh, and that money goes into buying kits. Um, I might buy another Dragon Ball kit. Uh, and some people in other games are huge numbers from Europe. Yes. Yes, Ronald. Um, I do have a few European followers. Um, that's kind of why I want to do the afternoon stream once a week. Uh, I'd like to add a third day, but that's to get, when I get to $150 on my Patreon, I'm going to add a Monday afternoon stream. Um, and that's mainly for, for my European, uh, followers who end up sometimes being up late and watching, but often are just watching the VOD or watching the YouTube archive. Uh, speaking of my Patreon earlier, I'm going to go check my Patreon to see if anyone's voted on what I'm doing next for the kit. Obviously, we've done our arms, we've done our body, we're going to do our uh, our waist, and we're going to do our leg. We're going to do our legs here. We're going to do the waist. We've got some weapons. We've got another episode at least. But I did put out the call, trying to find out what people want to build. And right now, uh, right now there's a tie. Between the Buster Gundam, which is a Master Grade kit, and the Blue Destiny Unit 2 Exam, which is a high grade kit that I bought. Uh, there was a sale going on. And that's a high grade kit, so that's going to take no time to build. But we've never done high grade on the stream, so it might be nice to show that off. Uh, right now, that's neck and neck. We'll see if anybody else votes. Uh, the $10 a month Patreons. Patrons, I should say, not Patreon. It's on Patreon. They're patrons. So I don't know. That's some, that's some stuff to think about. Uh, oh, here is the link to uh, 404ing it. Um, the archive of 404ing it is right here on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash patbear, if you want to watch that. And then also, here is the link to the improvised postmortem, which is doing gangbusters. Like I said, it's already the seventh most watched video I've ever put up. Uh, it helps that that it was not archived on Giant Bomb uh, Unarchived, which was nice. Um, they archive a lot of stuff, and sometimes that's awesome, and sometimes it's stuff that I was about to put up myself, and why did you do this? Um, and yeah, so that's it. That's uh, Those are all the links. Let's get back to building. Got another 45 minutes left in the stream. Let's put on some accents here. We're building up our feet. Um, so we need D5. We'll do that. Um... D5, easy to see. Roll in here a little bit. Um, so the addition of the lighting I need to be able to use the green screen has been good because it means that I can see things better. But it is, uh, I would say, uh, um, it is hard to... Uh, it's very bright and a little hot. Uh, people on Reddit have been posting your links on the unarchived post. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, that's very nice. Yeah. Um, it's that thing where, like, if I wasn't going to put the archive up myself, I'd be like, oh, good, it's there somewhere. But I am going to. In the case of if I post mortem, I ripped the stream myself and put it up on my own channel. When it comes to 404ing it, I have... Oh, here it goes. Uh, um, when it comes to uh, for forming it, I hired people. I spent money so that Eric Canis and Chelsea Smith of ENC3000 could do a video that's going to be way better than anything Twitch is going to do. As like I mentioned that before, so it's it's kind of frustrating. Um, it's very frustrating uh, when my for forming it videos get more views on the on that than on mine. And I and I'll also say I'll take I'll take responsibility on I've never contacted them. I've never been like, hey, could you not post these videos? They're gonna go up. I'm gonna make sure they go up. Thank you for your service, but we're good. And that's something I'm probably gonna do for Pax West. Um Because, you know, I think them putting up here's the opening 
goofy thing at a, at a Giant Bomb uh, East before they were started recording when they were just testing levels. Like, I think that's awesome uh, and cool that, th that that's out there. But that's not the same thing as my panel that I'm having filmed. Uh, yes, Mr. Bob. Um, uh, Eric and Chelsea uh, made the the League of Seals documentary. They showed up, at, I believe, at our, our first show, at our second show at PAX East, so our third uh, League of Heels show, they kind of contacted Aaron saying, okay, uh, we'd like to come film uh, your stuff. We want to, we really like what we do, you do, and we'd like to, to help out. Uh, to which we said, Pl please do that. Please come help us. We need, we, we need help. Um, and yeah, then uh, I've had Eric and Chelsea film my stuff. Um, and uh, they've done a bunch of other panels and they've been, they're also the nicest. Uh, if you've ever wondered if anyone actually lives in Saskatchewan, I can name two people that live there. And now I'm never going to say the name again. But they live there, and they're proof that, that actual people live in that uh, region of Canada. Because I did kind of wonder if that was a fake place, because I'd never met anyone from there. Uh, no, Harold, I'm not going to do any British accents. My voice is already strained. I'm trying to get it back from PAX because uh, I definitely lost it on Friday. Uh, Bored, I do believe people do live in Canada. I have now met enough of them to think that they're actually real. Um, all right, PC21. But, you know, yeah. Uh, I didn't necessarily know that all the parts that they said had people actually had people. Uh, but I believe that to be true. All right, I dropped a piece, but I was able to get it back very fast. And let's uh, let's do some build in here. Let's do some assembly. Yes, Mr. Bob, it's awesome. They they uh, I don't know if they're gonna go back to South. If we end up doing South again, maybe they'll come down. But they've done South before, and they do West and East. They uh, often drive to West and f they fly to East though, which is good. Uh. I know that it cost them a lot less money one year for PAX, for PAX uh, South. They flew to Denver and then drove from Denver. And that apparently saved them a ton of money. Which is like, okay, I guess, the, I guess that makes sense. Um, right, so, okay. Goes in the front. Goes in the front. Then I need some F4s. Uh, F is over here. F is a tiny one, so I put that aside. We're now going to use almost all of the F pieces right here. Yeah, uh, so so San Antonio is, is certainly not a hub. Um, and so a lot of people have to fly. I think the normal thing is a lot of people fly into Dallas and they get a connector in Dallas. And there are other connectors that people take, I'm sure. Uh, both times that I went back south, I flew to, to Dallas and they got a connector to San Antonio. Um, always looking for that direct flight though because direct flights are great on my ears because my ears are very uh, my ears do not enjoy flying so anytime I can do a direct flight that saves me a lot of headaches Le legitimate actual headaches alright so this goes in like this alright and that does the same other side all right, and we're gonna pop this on here. Um, oh, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the anime that I'm watching. I'm I'm still a little behind on everything from having a weekend of uh, away, but I'm catching up on some stuff. Um, I'll mention them in the chat. Uh, the uh, the first show I mentioned it last Thursday because uh, it's a new season. We are in the spring season. Uh, the first thing I watched was um, Gigi no Gigi no Kitaro, uh, or Gigi 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 no Kitaro is the other way to say it. Uh, it's a very old manga. This is the new, a new like the seventh or the ninth interpretation of that manga. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, yokai have been awoken in modern day Japan, and some weird, weird weirdos. Are, are there to help. Uh, and a young girl. Who's like, oh, shit. I got caught up in this. Oh, no. 
Uh, and then there's um, Love to Lie Angle is a uh, is like a three minute gag show. It um, it does the whole like I moved in to a dorm with a bunch of ladies and I'm a dude like accidental. They think I'm a pervert thing, but the it's a woman is the main character, young woman. Um, and so, but they're playing with all the like childhood tro like childhood friend tropes and uh, and uh, sexually uh, active older lady tropes and all the all the tropes you find in the harem genre. Only it's a woman in the role uh, in the lead role, so that's interesting. Uh, but it's also really short. The new one I want to talk about that I I. Just watched the second episode today, um, and I really liked. Is called Comic Girls. I think this might be my slice of life. It's two episodes. I'll put the name in the chat. Um, Comic Girls is uh, we're following our main character, who is a freshman going into high school, and is going to a dorm specifically for uh, women who are making manga. Who are doing art and some are signed, some have names, um, and it's it's a place for them to kind of like focus on their art while they're going to school, uh, and it's a it seems to be a slice of life like comedy. The main character has like a fun art style, but um, her big note was that she wrote a show about friends, like and having like a fun time because she doesn't have friends, and so the stories ring hollow, and people are like. Nah, this isn't good. But they could see a spark in her. And so she's self-deprecating because of course she is. It's anime and she's the main character in the story. Uh, but overall, I am 100% on board. Uh, oh, uh, Mex uh, Mexican, uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, the the whole Paximania show, or Lazy Mania as it was unfortunately titled... Uh, was really solid. Everyone did a great job. Uh, everybody stepped up. Um, I will say this. If you watch the stream, you watch the archives somewhere, we're not joking that we asked Submit when he walked in if he would do a bit in the show. We have on, I would say, two, maybe three occasions, asked Submit, who was just there, to do... Uh, to be in the rumble when like someone drops out last minute, we've had, we've had to step like ask submit really late to be like, Hey, could you do this? And this time it happened again. Uh, Suda had a thing. He was supposed to be there. Maybe. Um, and also the language barrier it, when trying to talk with, with Swery that we thought that maybe Swery was going to find a partner and then Swery didn't find a partner. And I was like, well, the funniest thing is if we just demand that submit do it. Um, and, we're very lucky that Smith said yes, because uh, it's a good bit that he just, we never book him and he just shows up. At some point, I have to book him in the show, uh, like, ahead of time and, like, give him a storyline beat, because we really need it. Uh, because he's just such a good, just a good solid dude. He's just been so like gung ho about the show. Uh, okay, so death. Um, legitimately, I uh, um, all I did in the winter season during this was give my weekly critique of Laid Back Camp. Folks that have been watching for a while uh, are probably sick of me talking about how much I loved Laid Back Camp. Um, because it was the show that I love. It was my favorite show of last season. Uh, it was it's such a good show. Um, so I appreciate that you recommended it. Because um, that show made me feel better. It was like. It was such a good positive show. And uh, I'm bummed that it's. That it's not on the air. Um, uh, oh, I, uh, somebody did send me a link. And so I. Oops I got to put that on first huh. Okay. Uh, someone sent me the link uh, that there is a fan uh, translation, a fan sub, if you will. Um, uh, uh, there's a fan translation of, um, what, was it, what was I saying? Oh, 
of the episode zero. So the Blu-ray came out in Japan of Laid Back Camp, or like the first of Blu-ray, and they have an episode zero. It's the OVA, and it focuses on how the um, uh, how the Outdoors Club was started, and it's just it's like five minutes and really sweet. I won't link it because you know it's weird to link that. Um, so I don't know since it's only five minutes if uh, Crunchyroll is gonna license it or not. I hope they do, because it would be nice for everyone to see it. But it's out there. Uh, one might say that you could Google Laid Back Camp Episode Zero special, and it and you would be able to follow a link to a way to watch it online. You wouldn't even have to download it. One could say that that exists out there. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Yeah, it's one of my favorite shows of the year. Uh, it was my favorite of the season. Um, Lay Back Kid was so great. Uh, that one and Slow Start. Slow Start were my two... Those were my two slice of life ones that I really liked. Uh, uh, School Babysitters was good. It was good. I It was touching in parts that, that was nice and surprising. So I don't know what these are for. These are for the legs. I'm going to put them aside for right now. And our feet, we'll put those there. Let's keep building. Let's get some... Uh, we're going to work on our right leg now. Uh, E4 and PC18. Um, uh, long ago, but wasn't the one, was that one anime you talked about where the kid died and got magic powers in a new world? Okay, so Mech, uh, Mech um, that is uh, Death March. Um, oh, okay, so it, you might be thinking of Death March, which is this last season or uh in another world with my smartphone is the show where a kid died and god goes i can't bring you back to life here on earth but i can't put you in this other world and he goes to the other world and he has all the magic abilities and it's a main character that has like every power and is unbeatable and nothing goes wrong and there's lots of ladies and it's a whole fucking thing um so that uh so that is probably what you're thinking of. That is probably the show that uh, I mentioned um, is In Another World with My Smartphone. Yeah, the phone one. This this last season, that show was, um, was Death March. And actually, Death March was interesting in that it was slower than I would have assumed it would be. It, like, took its time building its story. Um... In, uh, in, and I thought it would move quicker than it did. I did, don't think it's necessarily good, but it was a totally serviceable show. Um, uh, so uh, I'm letting My Hero Academia episodes uh, queue up a little bit. I'm going to watch them, but that's going to be a treat because I love that show so much. Uh, as you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, a sucker for uh, action shows, and that's my action show for this season probably. Uh, because I don't, I don't know. Right now, nothing else, nothing else action oriented looks good. Um, I'm sure there could be something good out there in the world of action, but right now I have not found it. Um, so I'm very excited about my hero academia coming back. That's like my big, like treat for myself. So I'm letting, I'm letting a couple episodes build up before I watch that. And then, uh, oh, um, Overlord, uh, season three, which is, you know, season two just ended apparently in July. Uh, so summer, they're going to do season three already, which was kind of a surprise. I mean, uh, overall, I, I think it got way better. I think it started kind of bad and it got to be a better show. Um, and that's probably because they focus on a character I really like, but yeah. Season three is already starting. Yeah, death. I don't know. Uh, the mega lock. Uh, yeah. That boxing thing. I don't know. Um, I'm waiting to see if anybody, of my friends, who watch a lot of anime, pick that show up, and if any anybody that I know and respect in the in that world has something to say about it. Because right now, it seemed interesting, but I it didn't seem like I had to watch it. And right now I've got three weekly and one like weekly that's like 
you know, three minutes. So that's a good amount for me. But yeah, I could probably pick up a couple more. Um, Dances with Dragons. Yes. I'm bored. That's on my list. I'm actually going to watch that probably tomorrow. I think it's my lunch episode tomorrow to kind of check out. Because I want. there's a few shows I haven't checked out yet. I'm actually going to look right now on, on, the, on my queue. The shows I have not watched yet that I will like I want to check out are um, uh, Dances with Dragons. I want to check that out. Um, Persona Five, the anime already started, which I'm actually kind of surprised. Um, and oh, the Sword on Our Lo- Sword Art Online Alternative, Gun Gale Online. So it's a alternate version. It's in the world of the second uh, season of uh, Sword Art or an alternate reality. New characters, but it's the gun show. It's like the gun virtual reality show. So that's kind of interesting. I'm, I don't didn't love the first show, but I in it was interested in it uh, with Sword Art. So in that season, so like I'm gonna give that a shot. I think see if it if it keeps my interest. At least want to check it out. Yeah, I mean, Epo uh, is is a fantastic boxing anime. Like that's uh, unbelievably solid. Um, so yeah, like the futuristic, like mech helping you be a boxer thing, or like cyber boxing seems kind of cool. But yeah, I haven't checked it out. But but yeah, that uh, Dragon One Dance of Dragon seems kind of cool. I'm gonna check that out. And then yeah, passing interest in a few of those shows. So I want to give them a shot. The Persona, like, I didn't love Persona 5 at all. Um, but the Persona 4 anime was really good. So maybe I'll like that anime, you know? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll like it more. Who knows? All right, so this goes, has to go like this. That goes like that. I'm putting some... Uh, they're letting a, they're actually like layering the skeletal part of this a lot more than I would have uh, imagined. Um, eight five, which is kind of cool. I'm into it. I'm into how this looks. Uh, Mr. Bob, I just I don't know if uh. If I like Gundam Builders, I I just don't know if I like it. Um, I'll, I'll give it a fair shot. I'll wait for a few episodes to come in. Maybe I'll really like it. I just, what I've watched of the other ones, I haven't really enjoyed. It's hard to not watch a Gundam show, but, you know, just doesn't really perk my interest. Oh, shit. I gotta, I keep putting a piece on in the wrong order. I'm gonna try to pry this apart. Really wish I had my separator. Um, uh, yes, uh, a lack of Chie does make five worse than four, but it's mainly that I didn't, f- when I, I didn't finish four, five, let me say, I finished four like a dozen times. I didn't finish five, but it's hard to watch a show where I just, or wa- play a game where I don't care about any of the characters. So maybe the anime, I will care about the characters. Uh, it's not very good because I, yeah, I mean like. You know, Mr. Bob, I understand. Yeah. You see, you get to see the characters you like, and that's cool. Uh, okay. Got a thing that I don't care about. Yeah, I really wish I could find my separator. Uh, I'm just going to have to buy a new one because I messed up here and didn't put a, uh, a PC part here, a rubber piece. And so now I'm going to pull it out so that I have it. And then I'm going to try to get it in there. Um, it would go like this. Okay. This is important. I need this so the leg works. Mm. Of course, I also trim my nails for the stream. Try to keep those from getting gnarly. And that means that's a little harder to pull this piece apart. 
when I do the other legs, I'm going to have to really make sure I don't mess this part up. Um, but yeah, there's some, uh, I'm excited for the new anime. I think there's a couple things that seem interesting and, uh, looking forward to checking them out. I'm glad that I found my slice of life already. Uh, also like the kind of the cool thing about comic girls, I mentioned, you know, I'm, I'm trying it out two episodes in. I, I like what I see is that it's also like, you know, I like the manga culture and I don't know I, I know some of the manga culture in Japan uh, comics party was a show that I watched a lot uh, there are there have been um, anime about uh, uh, manga groups uh, and so it will be interesting to see a another anime about that because um, I know some things about it enough to know that I'm interested but I don't know you know everything about it so that'll be cool all right, I apologize it's taking so long for me to separate this. I'm trying not to break it because um, I just need to do this. But, you know, if I don't do this, then the foot doesn't fit it in on this leg, and that would be bad too. Yep. All right, we did it. We did it. Okay, now let's keep building this leg up. Uh, PC2, C1, B1. All right, this is what we need. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm excited to have some new anime to watch. Uh, uh, still bummed out about the end of... I just keep waiting for the news. I'm sure someone will send me a message as soon as they know. Um about slow uh, uh, laid back camp season two if that if and when that happens but apparently it was very popular in Japan um, people liked it uh, it did well the opening song charted which is always a good sign it means that people are into it uh, so the hope is that uh, uh, the manga there is more manga to draw from so that's the hope anyway is that there'll be more of that show? Mm -hmm. There's more fairy tale coming, which is kind of fun. Oh, and here's a thing that I didn't know. I don't know if I said this on stream. So, um, I didn't hear the news, which is kind of surprising, that they that um, Amazon ended Anime Strike as a service. So Anime Strike was there like. You have Amazon Prime, you pay more, and you get a channel. They had two channels. They had Anime Strike, and they had like a Bollywood uh, kind of channel. And so they just, all the anime that they have is now just part of Amazon Video if you have Prime. So you can just watch um, those shows. And some of those shows are good. Um, uh, there's a uh, 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 Dan Makai, uh, Dan Maki uh, um, side story in it that's actually cool. Um uh, so that's like, uh, so that's interesting that there's that, there's, um, uh, Machiavellian girls, something like that. There's a, there's a kind of cool fighting show. There's, um, uh, a, a Grimoire Zero, which is cool. It's about a, a, a beast man that is, um, uh, hates like witchcraft and all that, but ends up becoming, uh, the bodyguard to like a incredible witch, um, and in, uh, who is like a young lady, and it's a uh, it's a good show. Uh, that one that one's pretty cool. So that's kind of neat. And I didn't I didn't hear that they shut that down. Um, I did wonder why they didn't have any thing for this past season, and that's why. And there's a few other shows they have that that people were into. Uh, yes, Made in Abyss. I made a point of borrowing the DVDs of Made in Abyss, the Blu-rays, and watched that. And that's excellent. That won a bunch of awards. And people really like that show. But, like that. Hello, Smash Bros. 64. What's up, Johnny? How are you? Uh, given the history of anime fans and piracy, I thought that customers. Yeah, bored. I would say that. I would say that I didn't want to watch any of those shows because what I ended up doing was um, 
I did it once and then I watched the whole season because I didn't I wasn't interested in in, in watching um uh of of paying monthly for for that service. So I waited for the shows that I wanted to watch to come out and when they came, when they were done completely and I just watched them all over the you know course of a couple weeks. Like a, a long weekend and another day. Uh which is bad business. Uh Johnny glad to have you here. Um working on our tall geese. We're doing some leg stuff for our tall geese. Uh let's see more B. Um B eleven and B twelve. Oh, B twelve. Important. Yeah, we're gonna go till about nine thirty and then I will take my leave. Uh it's very fun to think about how this is um two weeks ago we were building the PC that I'm doing the stream on. And two weeks later, I've got my green screen working pretty much exactly how I want it. I'm still tweaking it here and there, but it's pretty much right. Um, that's pretty awesome. Uh, we've come a long way. we got our game stream tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. That's going to be fun. Uh, I'm going to be doing some... Uh, I'll be playing uh, you know, games with the chat, of course. Um, um, doing some Jackbox games. We'll do... Uh, uh, TKO, we'll do uh, Quiplash. Uh, those are the ones I really enjoy. Uh, they announced that the next Jackbox Party Pack is coming out. Um, and that's going to have uh, You Don't Know Jack in the Party Pack. Which I think is uh, a good call. Instead of doing that as a separate game, making it part of the collection, to me, makes a lot of sense. Uh, so yeah, um, that's tomorrow night. We're going to be playing some games. Yeah, I mean, so I ended up buying the sheet. Um, the real thing is the reason why this works is because the lights here, um, it's a small kit. It's actually two uh, uh, It's actually two parts of a three-part uh, lighting kit. One part is broken. The reason why this worked for me is because this kit was gifted to me because it's like kind of beat up. Uh, it was like, you know, someone's first lighting kit for doing videos where they like on shoots and they wanted to up their production value. So they got this kit. It's very bare bones, very basic. Uh, but for me, it works perfectly because I'm not moving these, these lights anywhere or doing anything like that. I'm just, uh, they're stationary so they can be a little banged up. Uh, and that's actually what's really helping is having these lights because the sheet itself wouldn't, wouldn't help much at all. And I just have it attached to a wall behind me. It's working pretty well. Um, yeah. All right. So put it on there. And then we put this goes on like this. Cool. All right. And then we're going to put on B15. Lashbrook, you might be right. I'm wondering if this last uh, party pack maybe just didn't do super well for them. So they're like pushing uh, the Jackbox forward to try to like, you know, do better. Um, I mean, I, I didn't, I, I've been sticking with, you know, as far as the games I like to play, they're Quiplash and, uh, and, uh, and TKO or what I like to play with groups. Uh, there are other games in the next pack that in the other pack that are fun, but just not necessarily what I want. Um, but you know, teach his own. It might be a little early for that. All right, great. So we put that on there, and then we can put this on a foot. We did it. There's a leg done. We finished one leg. Let's, uh, we've got some time. Let's crack on the other leg. Oops. The dating game was a total dud with my crew. The survey one, I think is pretty fun. I actually think that one, uh, Bracketeer. Bracketeer is fun with strangers. That's a good, like, um, cause you get a sense of the room, right? Cause people are going back and forth and then you're like making your quick, like, well, I threw up once when I drank that kind of soda, so I can't vote for that. Uh, you know, like, I think, like, actually, as an icebreaker, Bracketeer 
is a uh, is a cool game, but I would much rather play TKO or Quip Flash. That's just me. Um, all right, work we'll work on some of this lag here, um, but not all. We won't finish it probably in this fifteen, but we'll get some of it done. Um, I actually think the weakest game is the one that they were legitimately excited about is the um, make fun of your friends meme thing. Like, it just seemed, it just, I've never been able to explain it to new people well the first time. I've had to play it with them and like play a fake game where we fuck up. And like, that's not fun. I don't find that fun at all to like, have a bad time with a game to teach it and then play it again. Uh, I was just never good enough at explaining that one. Uh. Yeah, I think TKO is exceptional. And I do think that like having new packs each time and like having some that some people love and others don't like, like I, I've never played, I've played with friends and we've never really, we never really latched on to, the uh the lying one to like see who's lying but i've seen other people have a ball with it so like i don't know i think it i think it's rough to be like we're gonna put up a few games hopefully you like one of them is i think very it's like a scary proposition it's pretty rough to just be like hope you like this so that we can keep existing as a company that's a tough one all right so we need uh, C8. Where, is, oh, it's, uh, C28. Why can't I, oh, I'm on B. That would explain why I couldn't find it. I was uh, using the wrong sheet. That would explain it very easily. But yeah, I mean, overall, I really do enjoy the Jackbox games. It's just uh, I didn't really like this last expansion or version as much as I like the third one. That's all there is to it. Um, but I'm excited for more. I, I like I like You Don't Know Jack a lot, so I'm excited to play more You Don't Know Jack. I think that's cool. Here, this goes here. Did it. And then this goes up, this goes down. Uh, I have packs one, threes that seem like the good ones. Yeah, there's some stuff in two that I like. I think they would be making a lot more money out of Jackbox games that release a single hub game and set those expansions. I don't disagree with you. I think it would be, I think it would be fun to be like, or, and then maybe they even let you make a playlist so that you pick the games you like out of it. So you can be like, I like these from two. I like this one from three. I like this one from four. Yeah. As a, as a service where you're buying expansions, that could be good. Uh, there is excitement around the packs as packs, but it is also like, honestly, a weird thing to say pack. And you're like, oh, cool. So can I open packs? four in three no i have to open up a new launcher a new exe yeah i think that is like maybe the wrong choice i don't know i'm no biz dev guy so i can only say so much I can only say what i think hmm. oh yawned and i apologize catching up with me i tried to tried to catch up on my sleep uh so here's a thing for me uh, I got up uh, Friday and Saturday and Sunday at 8 in the morning, which is um, very early for me. Uh, I normally get up at 11 a.m. Eastern time because I work evenings. Uh, so to get up at 8 in the morning uh, kind of threw off my internal clock and had me get up pretty early a bunch of other days this week. Or like wake up at 8 and then like fall back to sleep instead of sleeping straight through. Uh, and that has been annoying. 
And I hope to break that habit this weekend. All right, so we'll put that there. And then that goes. Oops, this is wrong. I put this on wrong. I wish that I... Sponger! I keep saying separator, and I mean sponger. I really wish that I could find what I did with my sponger. I am going to legitimately order one as soon as this stream is over. I'm just going to order the last one that I got. Didn't cost much money at all. And get it sent out so that I have it. Because I have been annoying about needing it. All right, so this goes on, and then it goes on there. Great, we did it. That piece is on there. I'm going to get a five. Um, so we are kind of winding down. I do want to remind you um, that I am doing a bonus stream tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I do a monthly gaming stream as like a bonus that's not building. I won't do any model kits tomorrow. I will just be playing games. I will be building some new decks and opening some packs because the latest expansion in Hearthstone came out. So I'll be doing that. And I might play some of my real goofy uh, uh, cla classic decks that are now in Wild um, just for fun. I might do that. I've got a couple decks that are silly, and I really enjoy playing them, so we might do that. And then um, I'll also be doing some Jackbox games with y'all tomorrow. Uh, so please come to that. That's 9 p.m. Eastern time. Um, as I wrap up, I am going to wrap up right there. I'll build the outer shell of this very soon. Um, but that's going to do it for the Build With Bear workshop. I hope you had uh, fun today. For those of you who are new. Uh, welcome. Uh, it's like this. I talk about what you're saying in chat. I build some model kits. It's, you know, it's pretty much this. Uh, I want to thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your Thursday night. If you're a Patreon back at the $5 or plus, this will be uploaded to you with about an hour and a half from now. Uh, before it's the next day, you'll get that video. And everyone else, uh, thank you so much. Have a great evening, and I will see you tomorrow. And if not tomorrow, I will see you on Saturday for more Build with Bear Workshop. Bye-bye.